I'm here with Volkan Ozdemir, who's turning around in no time. You got to fight right away, right? How, how did this come about? You fight in London, and then Nikita Krylov mentions your name, and here we are, right? Uh, that's it. You know, you just need to call me, and I'm here. And and you're you're known as a guy who fights everybody. So when you heard, you didn't even have to think, right? You hear a guy wants to fight you. I know you didn't get to fight as often as you wanted to, right? So when you hear that, that must have felt great. Yeah, definitely. But also, we were scheduled to fight uh, together like a year ago, a year previous that. And then um, also he fought my teammate now. Uh, so, you know, this, this kind of fight makes sense for me, you know, then, then uh, I, I got to go there, you know, avenge also the, the, my teammate and get the victory. And yeah, because it was a respectful call out, right? It's not like he was kind of talking trash or anything, but also the fact that he just fought your teammate. So how are you looking at it? Is there a bit of a kind of a personal thing with it or how are you approaching this fight? No, I don't see anything personal. I never see anything personal. You know, obviously it's a, it's a sport, first of all. Um, and like you say, it was like a, a respectful call out. But uh, it's like unfinished business because uh, we were supposed to fight and uh, I had to pull out because of the injury. Uh, then he was he fought uh, on Kalaev, I fought on Kalaev after that, um, and uh, now here we are. You know, like the, the we're back to the same spot. We need to finish this stuff so we can move out. You know, for, from this, and I can also continue climbing the rank. And before we talk about Nikita, let's talk about your last win over Paul Craig. He's that guy, right, that a lot of people have been losing to. He's got that awkward style. A lot of people, I'm sure you kept getting warned about it, right? Like, don't get into his garden and stuff like that. What was it like actually fighting him? Did it play out the way you expected it to? Yeah, um, it played out differently because uh, now I'm with the new team, with the All-Star uh, training camp. And uh, I followed also the, um, the coach's uh, strategy and it was simply avoid the ground. And I heard them, you know, during the fight, just just stand up and this and that. So, you know, uh, of course you can spend time, do stuff, do your work, but you never know. Krylov fought him, you know, he, he was doing really great until, you know, you get caught in a triangle. That's the thing with uh, with Paul Craig, you never know what's going to happen until the last second. You know, Paul Craig has the, he's the only one who defeated um, Nkalaev at the very last second on the third round. You know, this is, uh, you don't want to have this chance, you know, so you got to fight. Uh, he, he, got, he got to fight on my turf, I defended the takedown, I stood up from the, from the ground and, and that's it, you know, it was my game. How did it feel to get back to the win column? Because I'm sure you see a lot of guys doubting you right after the two fight losing skid, you got people who were doubting you. How good did it feel to kind of bounce back and remind everybody? It's always good, you know, because uh, I'm here to stay, you know, I'm here to, 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 to climb the rank, to get the victories after victory and now it's good to, to, to get this behind and continue on the winning streak. Let's talk about Nikita. Uh, it was a quick fight with Alexander Gustafsson, but in general, I mean, like you said, you were scheduled to fight him before, so you've studied him before. What do you make of him? Obviously, um, Gustafsson was uh, his biggest win ever. You know, he was uh, his uh, biggest fight, his biggest win, and, and something that, that made him that made him sh shine. Uh, but definitely, it's going to be different with me. Um, I'm here to to impose my style, and I'm here to impose my game. And. When you look at the light heavyweight division in general, where do you feel like a win over Nikita puts you? Uh, definitely uh, it's going to make me improve, but then I obviously need a, a top five guys after that uh, just to, to put my, my name in the mix uh, of the title uh, shot. So I need a victory against the top five after this fight. And when you saw it was just announced that Yuri Prohaska and Glover Teixeira are going to rematch, surprised to see them rematch? Do you agree with that fight? I'm happy because it was a hell of a entertaining fight. Uh, it's nice to see this play again. Uh, maybe it's going to be also a different um, uh, result. So it's actually re pretty interesting. How do you see it playing out? Um, I need to see Glover's... Uh, I didn't see too much video about Glover, how his shape is right now. Uh, I need to see Glover because he's getting old and older and older, right? So with the time and big wars like that just put a toll on your body. So, you know, him being really like 42 now or 43, something like this. Um, we need to see how, how, how well he handled, handled um, the health. Uh, but I could see him taking the fight there. And uh, Jan Bohovic was kind of there uh, in the mix. He wanted the, the fight with uh, Yuri Prohaska, but it ends up being the rematch. Do you feel like that stalls the division a little bit or because their fight was so good the first time you see why they're doing the rematch? No, I think the, the rematch is, uh, is there uh, for a reason. Um, Blakovic, isn't he coming from a losses? No, he won Ra Rakic. He won Rakic. Yeah, so um, it's okay, you know, but I think Ankalaev is probably more deserving because he has a just non-stop winning streak. 
Um, so definitely there is people in the mix uh, for, the, for, the, for the title shot. Well, Bahovic was booked now against Ankalaev. They're going to fight. So how do you see that one playing out? I think Ankalaev is, uh, is uh, the more pure, strategical, you know, like uh, fighter. Uh, he has this, you know, school, um, old school boxing style that he just keep it and, you know, works for him. So I think uh, he's going to just keep it like that and, and, and get the edge.